Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with a, a video. In fact, I'm replacing the video I just did uh, because I found a better way to do it. And uh, what we're after here is to add an object search functionality uh, to a training chart, 18465TR. And we do have a one online where I did this for uh, the training chart, 1210TR. And that one was relatively easy. We just had to have in the background the three or four ENCs. The way the program, way this uh, plugin works is it looks at the ENCs um, let me look here. See, here's a chart we've got here, and this is this is the only chart we've got installed now for now, and uh, so this is really directed for people doing that. But it really won't matter what stage you do this trick. Um, but we want to add uh, the the object search for this area, and the tricky part about that is this. Um, let me show you. Okay, so here's an article. Let me find out. I'll put, a, I'll put a link in there. The Strange World of Electronic Chart Boundaries is the article. And here's the, here's the thing we're looking at right here. And so here's the RNC 18465, and we want the object search. And the way you get that, the way that functions, is you have to load the ENCs, the electronic navigational charts, in the background because they have all the information in them. The, the RNCs are just a picture of the paper chart. They don't know anything, whereas the uh, ENCs are uh, somehow like a combination of the chart plus... Uh, plus a light list, so it's got all that information. But look at the problem. It's not just four ENCs. This is the chart. So if I want to have this nice plug-in go in and locate all the objects that are on this chart, all the lights, buoys, bays, rocks, everything else that has a name, I'm going to have to load in the background one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You count them, there's actually eight. There's eight of these ENCs that you would have to load. Now, that's easy enough. You would just load, for example, all of Washington State, and you got all eight of those, no problem. However, there's still a problem. This area up here is missing. This is a, a result of treaties with Canada and the U.S. Any neighboring nations have to agree on overlapping areas, who's going to make a chart and who isn't. And in this particular case, the Canadians make this region here. That's their waters, and uh, so we can't complain too much, but um, we share a little bit of those waters right in here and so forth, and here we share a lot, and the U.S. makes it, but Canada makes this. So what that means is there is no U.S. equivalent ENC of this region. So to make a, to do the object search right, you have to own this Canadian ENC, and they're expensive. So uh, so we don't want students to have to buy that or mariners in this region. This is this is not only a training chart 18465, but this is a popular sailing area. There's many famous races start here. There's Swiftsure that goes out in the ocean and then back. There's Victoria to Maui. There's a Bla there's a um, Smith Island race and there's all sorts of races uh, up in here in the in the Gulf Islands and so forth that uh, have to transit this chart. So having an object search functionality on this chart is very nice. So we need to do that. So what we did was we purchased a copy of this Canadian chart. Then uh, from that, uh, we made a database that you could use. And in the previous video, I made a way to do that. And that works well enough for a PC. When you get onto the Mac, you have to start dealing with files in folders you won't, most people are not comfortable with. So and furthermore, the method I was using for PC is not the best at all. We're not taking advantage of the ingenuity of the plugin. The plugin has a way for us to do this, and we should do it that way, not the way we did before. So as soon as this video is done and posted, which works for both Mac and PC exactly the same way, then I'm going to delete that old, that old, uh, old uh, video. So here's what we do. Uh, so you go and get the plugin if you haven't done that already. And by the way, we're doing uh, we're doing version five of uh, OpenCPN. And when you update to five, you basically have to update to all of your plugins. 
and uh, we have a lot of plugins here we use a lot of these powerful tools that uh, work on OpenCPN so we're one by one updating them all so far no problems whatsoever and so but that but you do have to do that so when you go here and you do the downloads you've got open you got the five version then you go to the plugins then you got and we're after right now we're after plugin object search and in the new nice looking format they have here they'll have plugins for the version 5 and version 4 we want the fives and in this case we want Windows, or actually, am I in a Mac or Windows? I don't. It's a Mac, so I would take the Mac one. And then you load the Mac program and so forth. And after you load it, then then oh, okay. After you load it, you would go up here and uh, hit this object, and then hit the plugins, and then you would have this object search plugin. You have to enable it. I think it shows up disabled. I'm not sure. Okay, so once that's done, it's enabled, and now you're here, then the icon will show up over here, object search, and then when you click it, like if you want to find Edis hook light or something, and you search there, you hit the button, and sure enough, absolutely nothing will happen, and that makes sense. We only have one chart in here, right? There's only, there's only one chart loaded. Uh, go back here objects chart you see we just have this one training chart there's never been any ENCs loaded in here so this plugin does not know anything it doesn't know anything uh, it's got a database but there's nothing in it so uh, what we're gonna do is now take this database that we created and uh, well okay let's come back let me come back to what we're doing here so go to this go to this search then you go to uh, this, uh, uh, look here, there's uh, three buttons down here. That's a uh, menu of some kind. And then manage databases. Now here's what we want to do. We want to download this file. Let me just show you where it is. You're going to go to starpath.com. Um, okay, I'm back again. I actually wandered off. I had lost this page link, but now I'm back. So here's a page. I'll put this link in the description, but it's the uh, it's a workbook that we have for this chart. And on this chart, we put this link here: 18465 Object Table CSV. So you just download that. So there, that's going to go into the downloads. Save that, and then you come back to the Open CPN. Um, Open CPN. Go to this function. Go back here go to manage databases and now go and find that file and that's in the downloads uh, let's see date modified here it is it, this is I've got well these are the files I use to make the thing so just forget that but this is the one you'll see that you downloaded and that's it say open then that's got that file there and we've made it the right format and so forth then you say okay and that's it now that's done now that procedure you see with that interface to uh, this thing then this thing and then this thing and then load the file that's exactly the same Mac or PC so we don't have to have two videos that's that but now everything works you can come oh there's Edith's hook so we search for Edith's hook, we find it. If we want to find Victoria Harbor, you know, uh, you can find it or like that. Or there's a famous marker over there, Brochy, B-R-O-T-C-H-I-E, Brochy Ledge. Let's see, I go to Brochy Ledge, and then you click it, and they say show on the chart. Oh, I'm, it's centered on it. Well, you see it's centered on it. It doesn't put like a circle or anything, but it, it centers on it. So if you find anything, you can find anything. So that's the way this object search works. And now we're taking advantage of a very nice uh, additional feature where you can supplement the main databases with your own work. But this one we made is prepackaged for you. And I'll just tell you that that is limited to like uh, 40, like this area right about, well, actually it goes out here. It's about like 47 to 49 and 122 to 125. So this is actually, actually you will find things that are up in here and out here and so forth in that database. But it'll work for studying with this chart. And the main thing, you could get all of that. The thing that we've added that's unique 
unique is all this data, this Canadian data right in this region right here. And, there, and if you look in here, you'll see there's all kinds of information. These race rocks, race passage, Peddler Bay, all of these Ross Bay, these names of these lights and buoys and, you know, whatever. So those are now all in that system and it works great. Mac or PC, exactly the same. And with this, I'm going to go delete that other video, which was PC only.